Hello, Cindy Ellen here from Paper Crafts by Cindy Ellen. I am taking this brief moment in time when everything is clean to give you a tour of my craft room, or at least an overview of my craft room. So this is my door. Um, this craft room is at the back of my house. So yay, crafty goodness inside from cat scrappiness. And well, hey there, says Catherine Pooler. You are looking awfully crafty today. I like those things. So there is good stuff inside my craft room. So here it is. And here we come in. So my craft room is approximately 10 by 13. Um, this is my cutting station right here. It is part of an old entertainment center. So I don't have a lot of money. So a lot of this stuff is either came from a thrift shop, has been repurposed, or my husband built it for me. So this was an old entertainment center. And um, that, the um, countertop came from, was a leftover from Lowe's that was like 15 bucks. So we took the top off the entertainment center, which was found by the side of the road and put that on top of there. So there's my big shot. That is a scrap bucket that actually, I was sweeping in here earlier, that actually goes down there. Um, my Fiskars, which does small cuts and my trusty swing line guillotine cutter that I think is like, I don't know, it might be 50 years old. It was my father's. So it's like, it still cuts, self-sharpening, has never hurt anybody. I love it. That blue bucket is my scrap bucket of long things. And it makes great scrap cards, by the way. So when it gets full, I do things. So this is my bulletin board. So. Those are the cards my daughter sends me because my daughter is crazy. So that's a Halloween thing I made from, I'm put on a pumpkin, find the sweet things in life. I really suggest you do that. There's my brand. That's my brand thing. Um, that's my brand stamp. Um, I love chickens and birds. I have some birds. It's my friend Abra's art. She sent me some Sherham Make Kindness stickers from Jennifer McGuire. Thanks cards, a class I took, cards from people, some of my cards. Believe it or not, that's a card I messed up, the Merry Christmas card. That's from Corin Wiskman and uh, I've forgotten it, Lisa Tilson and Jessica Frost Ballas my very first piece of watercolor art ever. Actually, this was my very first piece of watercolor art ever. It's awful. Don't look at that. Some very cute hedgehogs my daughter sent me. Um, learn to learn to learn, which reminds me to always um, proofread before you stamp things. My daughter's art because nothing says Christmas like a shark. Uh, Mary Polanco art. More Christmas cards for my daughter. On the make! The next one's in July in Moorhead City at Atlantic Beach. There you go. I love that. This is more of my friend Abra Griggs art. You can look her up on Etsy, um, I believe. Isn't that great? I love her. She's always drawing pictures of rabbits. I think that's really cool. So I am not one of those crafters that can leave a lot of things out because when I leave them out, they get overwhelmed. So this is behind my door. This is it, yes, rainbow order, because I am OCD like that. I do not have a washi tape problem. However, I have some friends who had a washi tape problem and they gave me two gallon bags full of washi tape. I had nowhere to put it and my husband made me that. Those containers came from the dollar store. That's a pegboard he painted. Screwed those things on that. Ta-da! I have a peg, I have a washi tape holder. Works great. 
By the way, when I have less washi tape, that's going to become a Nouveau Drops holder or maybe a Stickles holder because I do have a Stickles problem. My ironing board, you know, things like that. This lovely piece of furniture cost me 15 bucks plus about $8 for two cans of spray paint. Green and blue are my favorite colors. There we go. On the top there, over on the side, are uh, Q-tips and cotton balls and makeup sponges. My not fancy um, pencils, color pencils. In the drawer, in that top drawer, are my Prismacolor pencils in a case. Um, that sideways thing right there holds all my inks. Found this on YouTube. By the way, this cost me, I think it was 20 bucks. And then my husband made it. Not the inks inside it, but um, store and more is great. Or you can make one of these, um, which holds an entire set of um, 60 Distress Oxides or Distress Inks, an entire set of Simon Hurley inks, and a little bit more, and then um, a whole set of other inks like Catherine Pooler and Scrapbook.com hybrid inks. There you go. And then you can just add more. Um, as I said, here's my pencils. Here's my, that's uh, duct tape. That's extra stuff. Um, second drawer down is my embossing drawer and my glitter drawer. I'm not real fond of glitter. Um, I'm taking a, a note from one of the Pretty Pink Posh team members. I have gold, silver, clear, holographic, and white, basically. Oh, and from Simon, the ultra thick, which works really well for me all I need and some other stuff ribbon I'm not a real fan of ribbon and thread and stuff but everybody needs it and of course the mama roll everyone should buy one of these you need one of these you only need to buy one about every five years so buy one of those so next door drown is um, envelopes basically all different colors of envelopes and card blanks. That's what I keep in there. Yeah, and in the bottom drawer is tools. Um, iron, extra fixed screws blades, my crocodile, extra scissors, sewing scissors, my brayers, my glue gun, the plural, staplers, rags, clean rags. Um, Microfiber cloths. Okay, let me tell you about microfiber cloths. You can buy microfiber cloths at the Advance Auto Parts store. You can buy a six pack of them for 10 bucks. I suggest you do that. Uh, I am disabled and I live on a budget. So speaking of that, um, I'm gonna leave my desk for last. So this is my closet. So my hiking name is Tigger Mama. I am a Tigger. I used to be a Tigger. I love Tiggers. I love birds. Um, I don't like to sit still. I bounce. I'm pretty fun. There's that. Um, I'm going to back up. So uh, here's my comfy chair where I may start doing some morning meditations with you all. And this was the closet. Uh, I had to put some stuff in the closet because I needed some more storage space, but I also needed some more floor space. So in here, I have my paper. This is uh, packs of paper that are uh, solid paper. I don't use that much anymore. This is all basil paper. Somebody was selling it on um, my local yard sale for $10 an inch. I got all of this paper for a hundred bucks. It's all basil and butter. Yes! And that's all pattern paper, which is cool. And this drawer is all um, storage for family things, like it's all wrapping paper and crap like that, which you don't need to see. 
Over here is my stand for when I film. Um, by the way, you don't need a fancy stand. Let me show you this, because this is kind of fun. Uh, this sits on my desk. Woo! Unless it falls over. Hold on. That was fun. So, this sits, okay, it sits on my desk. It does sit up on my desk. It really does. It sits on my desk. This is an arm from my husband's, uh, my husband's gadget. This came from one of those things you use for your car, and my phone sits in there. My husband built this. Um... So actually, hold on for just a minute. 